My back's stiff as hell. It was actually coming back from that road trip when I had my first flare-up, I want to say. I couldn't move. I had to stay in the bed the whole time. From there, I just always had lower back pain. I just kind of dealt with it. And it was 2023 New Year's. And I just woke up with such bad pain in my right leg. I couldn't lift it. I had lost mobility. It sounded like I had developed sciatica. The way this has affected my life is in every single way. It's like constant aching, constant pain. The mornings are the toughest. You wake up very stiff. Sleeping's hard because you have this pain shooting through your leg. You can't really sleep sometimes. You can't sleep on your sides. You can only sleep on your back and because I have this constant pain when I bend over especially that in itself is uncomfortable it's just always an achiness a stiffness a tingling sometimes a numbness in my toe one of my lowest points was I was trying to go to vacation in Puerto Rico my friends were able to like hike go on like this natural rock slide and I had to kind of opt out it was kind of annoying I'm only 29 and I can't move having that disc out a lot of professionals told me that it just doesn't go back in that you kind of have to manage the pain. It's rough. So when the doctors told me that they're saying the disc can't go back in, it was really just sad. It really just brought me down. I felt like there was really nothing I can do after. So what do I do? I just live with this pain for the rest of my life. It's sometimes depressing. <laughs> you don't want to go through life feeling pain, especially being young. Like, what do you look forward to when you're 50? Because the days I can't move, I lay in bed and I get frustrated. It limits me because I used to be very active. So I love going on walks. I can't even go on walks. I can't even go up slopes. I love sports. Can't play sports. I love going to the gym. I want to gain mass, and I can't even do that because lifting a weight hurts. Everything hurts, so I just feel like an old lady. When I finally saw a professional, and they took the MRI, and they're like, oh, this, this is this is pretty big. They, they're trying to tell me to, you know, just go through with the physical therapy, see how it works, get steroids to help, you know, with the structure help hopefully push the disc back in. I don't want to just curb the pain. I don't want to just alleviate it. I want to make it feel better. Like, I want it to heal. On a scale of one to 10 right now, the pain is around like a three. It comes and goes. Some days it's like an eight because I just can't move. It's just the overall achiness. Forever aching, forever in pain. It's an always nagging, constant pain. I really don't believe I can get better. I just seen the images. They look really bad. <laughs> My sister, she's in the medical profession, so she just tells me the reality. It's pain management. She sees MRIs like this all the time. And a lot of professionals try to sugarcoat it. I feel sometimes. You know, I've always worked really hard to save every penny I had. And I have invested a lot of money into things that have worked out for me. But now that I have the money for certain things for my health and it's not working, it sucks. So you should never take your health for granted. It's something that money cannot buy. But I'd like to feel no pain. I like to feel stronger. I'm all about progress. I just like to feel like I'm improving in my life and in my health. If I can do some preventative, like strengthening, repairing, and then preventative exercises. Hopefully, you know, I can last to be a hundred years old like I plan to like I plan to live to be. Alright, so any difference than when we you first got up after that? No, it feels good. Like anything feels better than feeling stiff. And I don't it feels like I don't have any pain right now. You see a million and two programs on the internet telling you that you'll get better. I was very, very skeptical. I, I kind of have to see it to believe it. I'm becoming a believer slowly. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel my back. That's nice to not feel your back for once. Just to feel the floor underneath my feet. That's about it.